Namaste everyone. Today I'm going to do the forecast for June 2017 for each sign. Okay, so let's uh, let's see what card Aries will get this time. Um, summer's almost here. Um, first card for Aries is strength. Okay, Aries. So for June 2017, you're going to be drawing the line. You're going to be saying, hey, you know, um, am I going to stand up for this or not? Okay, that's what strength means. This is what this card means. This card means that you've probably had enough of something and now is the time to come and, you know, decide. It's kind of like stopping after doing something for so long and then deciding if you're going to continue. Okay, Aries. Taurus. For the month of June 2017. And Taurus, you have... You have to start, okay? So you might be getting inspired this month of June. You might be getting ideas. Um, you might be more social, okay? Um, I think this is the most prettiest card in the whole deck. So um, Taurus, you got this card for this for this month. Now Gemini, Gemini, you have you have the Empress, okay? So maybe you're going to be getting in touch with your feminine side. Maybe you'll uh, be having a baby or a child. Maybe you'll be having a child, uh, maybe you'll be fixing your house, maybe you will um, um, cherish your feminine energy, maybe you'll start dressing more nicer, okay? Also it could pertain to love, because this card rules Venus, okay? Cancer. Now Cancer, you have virtue, okay? So Cancer, you might be standing a little bit still this month and you might be planning ahead, okay? Um, you might be thinking of options that you have for next month. Okay, Cancer. So this card pertains to taking your time and looking at your options for the future. Cancer. Leo. Now Leo for the month of June 2017. And Leo, you have Ruin. Now Leo, maybe there's something that's going on in your mind that you just can't get out. Okay, this card pertains to negativity of yourself um, of you putting yourself down, of thinking of negative thoughts, of people and stuff. Maybe you have to meditate and clear your aura. Because sometimes people's thoughts get caught up in our aura and we have to, and we constantly have to be purifying. Okay, Leo? So, do that. Um, Virgo. Virgo for the month of June 2017. Virgo. Virgo, you got wealth. So you might be cashing in on something, maybe something's going to finally manifest in your life. And Virgo, this is your card because this is ruled by Mercury. Mercury and Virgo. So you're going to be probably having some quality time with family and sharing whatever it is that you gained. Virgo. Libra. Libra for the month of June 2017. Libra, we got the Fool. Okay, so it's going to be a new beginning for you. Maybe you might have a little bit more energy than, than usual. And you're going to probably start something. It's a new chapter. This is the first card of the Major Arcana, the strong card. So um, get ready because for you it's going to be like a springtime and a summer. Okay, Libra. Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio. Scorpio, you have truce. Okay, this is Jupiter and Libra. And currently Jupiter is in Libra, so you know this card is a little bit more evident during this time. But anyways, for you, Scorpio, you're probably going to be resting. Okay, maybe you might be getting a little bit ill, but not necessarily. It could just mean rest. And um, what it could denote is that you're just uh, um, get gathering your thoughts together. Maybe you don't want to be around people. Maybe you just want to be alone. Okay, for this too. Scorpio. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. You might be traveling the summer Sagittarius because you got science, the card science, and it's uh, Mercury in, in Aquarius. And you know, we all know that Sagittarius loves to travel, so I think it's a very auspicious card. Okay, maybe you might be going to a beach somewhere. Um, Sagittarius is also means liberation. If you're not traveling, you might be liberating yourself from something. Okay. Capricorn. Okay, for the month of June 2017, Capricorn. Capricorn, you got fortune, okay? 
So it, it denotes that maybe some good luck is going to come your way, something sudden, okay, because this has lightning in it, and lightning comes sudden. So maybe you might be um, gaining something suddenly, okay, this pertains to, to good fortune, to, to good luck, okay, Capricorn. So you might be catching in on, on, on the love or, or money or maybe some health, okay. Um, Aquarius. Now, Aquarius. Um, Aquarius, you have the card failure, okay? And what this card means is that you're going to be evaluating stuff now for the future. However, you do feel pessimistic, okay? You might feel like um, your plans won't work, so you're probably evaluating other options to make it work, okay? Because things are not seeming too good for you, Aquarius. So my advice to you is just to write things down on paper, things that make you feel fearful of failing, and that way you will know what to do. Okay, Aquarius. Pisces. Pisces. Now, Pisces, we have mentality. And maybe, Pisces, you might feel doubtful of yourself. Okay, and Pisces is that sign that doubts itself, even though this is an Aquarian card, this is Moon and Aquarius, but Pisces does doubt themselves more often than other signs because they're so good at everything that when they're going to pick something, they never do because they're so good at everything. They're like, well, why would I want to pick something, you know? What if I don't finish it? And they never finish barely anything that they start. So for you, Pisces, um, I would recommend you write on paper what it is that you're doubting yourself about and try to um, change those into affirmations that you can, okay? That you can. And put some willpower into it, okay? Because this is just all in the mind. This card denotes to something that's all in the mind and it's not, it's not necessarily real, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this forecast for 2017 June and I'll stay.